Hi, Frank here. Okay, uh, in this video, what I want to show you how to do is set up a virtual set. It's different than a chroma key that we did a simple A over B last time, where you have A is the camera and B is the background. Now we're going to insert a virtual set, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we're going to go and we're going to look at these tabs here. ME1, 2, 3, and 4. Now we used ME1 last time for the simple chroma key uh, A over B. So we're going to select ME2 and I'm going to put it in the preview screen and by selecting on the preview bus. Now when I do that, what you're going to have to do in order to do any setups, you have to go up into this tab right here where, it's, where the corresponding tab ME2. So I'm going to click on that and when you do uh, another, another set of uh, of buses come up and they're going to show you there's an A and a B. So the A being the camera. So we're going to select camera two this time because uh, that's the that's the one I'm using. And down here the B now is what's going to be an insert on the the uh, uh, virtual background that you choose. For instance, be a monitor or maybe something in the front of the desk. So that's what that's going to be. Now, what we also have to do is we have to select virtual set. What you do is while this is open, you go over here to where this little square is down here and it's a, select, it's a selection area. Click on that and you've seen this before. These are the, uh, 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 the mixes. So it's gonna be like a fade mix or a cut. So these are the mixes. This button is gonna be the uh, mix uh, effect. So now I'm going to, I, I mouse over until I see a little plus. I'm going to click on the plus. And now, previously I showed you this is where we did what's called default, and that's how we did A over B. But we're going to do, if you look on this media browser that says live set, there's a, oh, there must be 25 different, different live sets that you can choose. For this particular video, I'm going to show, I'm going to choose this, what's called demo studio. Now that's going to open up and you're going to see center, left, and right. Uh, what, what you're going to do is pick the standard center. I'm going to click on that and say OK. And the reason is we're only using one camera. So uh, let me show you that real quick. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Full screen. So here we are in the demo studio. And as you can see, it is a large. <laughs> it's a pretty big studio. Now. Um, and you'll also see in the monitor here is what was on that B, uh, the B bus where we picked a graphic. So, and then the center here where I'm at is the A bus. So here it is again. The A bus was camera two and the B bus was graphics. And you can change that and that could be a video or anything else. You can change it to if you want. So, okay, so let's go back and take a look at the uh, virtual background, which we selected. And then there it is. There it is again. There's the big virtual background. But you can see that I'm still, the, the green screen is still uh, not transparent. So what you have to do now is you're going to go up to the camera and you're going to click on the gear. You're going to go to the second tab, image. And you're going to go to live mat. You're going to open that up. When you do, you'll see a, uh, some, some settings and a color swatch, which normally is green, but it, doesn't, it, it could be another color. So what you do is you mouse over until you see a little dropper. Now when I mouse over, I click it, I drag it up in there into the little window onto the green, and I let it go. Now I've become transparent. And let me show you again on the full screen. Now I've become transparent and behind me where it was green is now the set. Also, you notice that obviously I am in disproportion to the size of that set of that uh, desk. So normally what you're going to do is you're going to use the camera and you're going to zoom the camera in and out and size the students accordingly to the desk so they look uh, in proportion to it. So uh, I can't do that right now with that camera, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you about that. So that's our virtual set. Now also, I'm going to close this little window here. Also, while you're in the ME2 tab, you have other uh, controls. And one over here, you'll see this a fader bar. 
And if you grab that and you, you can move it down, you can actually zoom in. So uh, a lot of times this is way too big for the students to uh, be seen properly. So you're going to zoom in and then say, okay, I want to go to the full size desk. Now I want to position, I want to change the, uh, the uh, camera shot, which is way too big. If I go over here to this little drop down where it says A, I click on the drop down. There's a little tab here under position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to well, if if you were on this image, uh, you can you're going to go over to row position. And what you're going to do is you have these options. You have a positioner and a zoom. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is, is mouse over the zoom until I get the uh, four arrows. I'm going to click on that and let me go full screen. I'll show you. I'm going to drag this left and right. Okay, there you go. So now this is another way if you weren't able to do the camera setup, then you're going to position it this way. So let's go back to full screen. So what I did was I just moved that back and forth. Now that was the zoom. I can mouse over the position, click, and do the same thing. Now I can move the camera around. So well, it's just one person, so I'll do it. Normally, you're going to be up a little bit higher where you're actually going to see that the students are going to be actually uh, sitting at the desk. So you're going to be moving them down like that. OK, so uh, once you have them in the position, again, what you notice is that up in the screen, we have the full desk uh, and then the monitor is sort of off to the side. So you can go back to positioner, click on, click on the positioner here, and now you can move the whole set. So I can say, okay, I just want to show the, the full screen. I'll show you again. There's the full screen and the desk. So let me go, here's position down here in this area. I'm going to click on that. I'll show you full screen again. So now you can move. Whoop, I missed it. So now you can move the whole set if you have to do that. So we're going to put it back to here. Go back to here. And uh, let's switch back over to the uh, other shot. And that's pretty much how you load it. Now, there, there are other virtual sets. You can see, you can experiment and try them out. Have the students sitting behind the desk first. Zoom in the camera so you can size them properly. And then you can make your fine adjustments with that. And then once you got your virtual set, you, you can uh, use it. Now you've got ME2, you've got ME1, ME1 for your maybe your AB background, ME2 for your virtual set. And uh, there are other ones. So you still have two other mixed effect uh, buttons to, to use if you want to change it up. Okay, I hope it wasn't too complicated. Thanks for watching.